Hey, this is Miracle Max. Welcome to Rise of Kingdoms. And uh, have we got a show for you today. All right. Um, before I get into what's happening on the map, you should notice that I am now in the territory of yellow. Yes, Miracle Max has left Kingdom 3 and moved to Kingdom 2. Um, I am with the second largest alliance here. And I really wanted to get you guys some action. I wanted to get into some action. And finally, the map is uh, taking shape. And we have some fighting happening on the map. Um, I'm not sure if other than right at the beginning we had any fighting going on. So it's good to see some action happening. Um, you know, this is a war game. We are here to war. <laughs> so uh, we have uh, UCS is um, basically cutting off several kingdoms from entering the next zone. Uh, last night we had the passes uh, level 5 um, fall um, across most of the map and I want to show you the scouting report on that. You know we've all done passes many times so it is a question of what are you facing at this point not how to take it down. So um, but USC UCS excuse me I live in Southern California USC is easier to say has um, blocked off every pass on the left hand side of the map um, all the way up which means kingdom one eight and seven have no access at this point to the next zone which would be zone three remember that on this map there are four zones not three zones um, so this is still, we still have one more pass to go through before we hit the center of the map. Um, kingdom number, uh, let's see, one, sorry. Kingdom number seven still has an opportunity over here to get to the center of the map at this pass. Um, but they will now be fighting kingdom six for it. Um, kingdom six and kingdom five have access to the center as well as kingdom four and three have both made it into uh zone three so yay for my old kingdom they they made it out um this pass was shared by kingdoms uh three and four to get access there was some good teamwork working together there to get out um but effectively, yellow has half of the map um, marked off now from the diagonals. All of it is, um, at this moment, under control of Kingdom 2. Um, like I said, we do have some action happening here in this corner where uh, Kingdom number 7 is trying to find a way to escape on the map. Um, UCS is extremely powerful in comparison to um, this is Zod. So let's take a look at those alliance sizes. So UCS has um, over 6 billion power and Zod is actually 3.3 .3, so they're in third place. They're not they're not small um, but also remember that UCS has the firepower of the second um, alliance, AO1 on their side, and also the fourth alliance, um, so they can bring in extra troops from those two kingdoms, or I'm sorry, two alliances to um, help out. So, but I, I love that stuff is finally happening um, right now. It is all about that pass and the burning of flags. Um, I'm not seeing any troops from Zod out on the field at this moment. Oh, there's one there. Um, so we may have reached a period of calm while they regroup and figure out what to do. Uh, here comes Zod. So we may have some more action coming. So while we're waiting for that, let's take a look at the um,
past level five scouting report and see see what we were facing here. So um, two million troops tier five. Um, the skills this time were a little different. So we um, stuck with that first skill of dealing massive damage, um, 3,500 damage factor. That has been the consistent um, number to this. Um, our second skill is uh, vicious. <laughs> uh, normal attacks have a 100% chance to cripple the target, increasing damage taken by 10%. This effect can stack a maximum of 100 times. So if you take 10% and you multiply it by 100, that means that you get an effect of 1,000%, um, which would be 10 times the um, normal attack damage on top of the normal attack. So that would be 11 times the normal attack damage at the maximum. Um, obviously, the longer that a battle goes on, the higher this number gets. So again, we are staying with this. Do it fast if you want to have a chance at succeeding. Um, the third skill, all normal attacks have a 10% chance to heal 1% of their units. That's actually a, a pretty minor skill in comparison. And the last skill heals 20% of the units led by this commander every time they defeat an enemy army. Okay, so what does this skill tells us? This skill tells us that when we're taking the pass, we need to do it all in rallies. We need to not send individual armies to take this pass. Why? Because rallies take a long time to defeat and individual armies fall fast. So for every individual army that falls, you are giving this um, this enemy 20% of their units back, um, which could be um, up to 400,000 troops. So do you want to um, to do you know 2% damage? Do you want to give them back 400,000 troops? Um, the answer to that, of course, is no. So very critical on this level five pass to stick with rallies. Do not come individually period it's just it's just a bad idea you're just you're giving the enemy back um, the uh, the edge it just it just makes no sense so all right that was the level five pass um, we are still in flag burning um, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what is um, coming up in the game so we had the level five passes fall last night um, when that ends there's a reward for reaching City Hall 25 and then the next structure that is going to unlock are the circles um, circles function pretty similar to um, the Lost Temple there is a you know an altar to take possession of if your territory is touching it and there are um, features they're called wardens but similar to guardians that will pop up and try and protect it um, so that is the next step in the game we still have a little ways to go to reach that because of this finishing up the level one pass and then the time for reaching city hall 25 um, as far as what I am going to be doing in the game um, I've had some movement and I'm going to do a video on migration, but I am wanting to give you a variety of looks at the Lost Kingdom, um, different different ways that things were attacked. And so I'm going to have three accounts that are active in the Lost Kingdom in different kingdoms at different stages of the game. So I'll be making videos from all of those locations. Um, I hope those help you with uh, what's going on in the game. I know that yesterday the Silk Road Speculators released in all kingdoms and it was great to see that video uh, that I made on that jump up uh, by a thousand views in a couple hours just because everybody wanted to know how to do it. Um, so um, I appreciate that. All right. Um, I don't see any further action happening. So rather than sitting here and staring at 
these um, troops surrounding flags. We've all done this. Um, I'm going to scroll out one more time, give you a good look at the map, and then I'm going to sign off. Um, so let's just go counterclockwise from here. It looks like we could have some battles here popping up, and it looks like we do. We've got more flag burning happening. So uh, this is U, lowercase ucs um, is trying to take this, but we do have, oh, we've got some city burning. Well, that's not good. Hey, I'm interested. How is that city burning? So the rules of the game said you could not attack cities. You could not uh, unless they were off their territory, and that's the reason why. So this territory is owned by, by KGB, and FBU somehow got on their territory and is paying the price for it because that puts their city at risk. If this was FBU's territory, then that city could not be burned. Looks like we are pushing well forward and have battles going on back. So Kingdom 2 is trying to push everyone back from the passes and really stake their claim to the center of the map. And we're going to have, um, looks like, battles happening here. And we've got another flag burning here for FBU, but really no... No issues there if we head on up. Take a peek here. We're not touching yet, but I suspect we'll see this pass fall soon. Um, it is probably on the list as, as there's movement around the map. And I'm not familiar yet with who's allied together. I love that Kingdom One, oh, Kingdom One took a pass. Interesting. All right, Kingdom One has been um, staying in their corner since the beginning of the game, and they have decided that they want to come out and play. So kudos to them. We'll see how that plays out. All right. Um, over here, this is all controlled by Kingdom 2. And it looks like we're at peace at this moment over here, but there are some definite battles setting up. You know, when you see two different color territories head-to-head -head like this, expectation is that we will have some war happening there and also over here. So nothing at this moment. We are, it looks like Jin is protecting their flag at this moment, which is good. And this corner is going to be where the most um, peace talks are happening, where the most um, most alliances are running into each other of equal strength. Um, <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see what happens down here. No real battles possible there. And this corner can slowly develop because this area down here, uh, Kingdom 2 cannot access. So these guys have some freedom to move. All right, so there's the map. Let's head back home. I am going to send my gatherers out, um, get on building some flags, and keep pushing forward and seeing what level of barbs are available to me now and work on those individual honor points. Um, a quick check-in on that on me. Um, I am needing to hit more barbs and um, accumulate more honor by hitting barbs, gathering, and hitting barbarian forts. Um, we are... A little short of halfway. This was a 58-day event, so we're 25 days in. So I've still got some time to push hard on those, which I will do. All right, thanks for watching. Um, 
if you like this video like it and uh, please subscribe I appreciate every subscription I'm trying to push up to where um, you know where this is making a difference financially for me so I've got a ways to go to there but uh, I'll keep moving in that direction all right thanks for spending time with me and uh, good luck as you enter the Lost Kingdom it's coming up um, I think at this moment um, as I'm recording this, we are 29 hours away from everyone hitting the Lost Kingdom who it has passed the Lost uh, Temple more than 30 days. So pretty much everyone in the game is hitting the Lost um, Kingdom tomorrow. All right, I wish you luck, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.